Did you ever chopped up some mushrooms, brown or white? Added a bit of oil into a preheated pan, started to fry them and immediately wondered, hey, where's the oil? It all got immediately soaked by the mushrooms and now the pan is dry. So what are you going to do? You will add another tablespoon of oil. Now clearly the oil will stay on the bottom and help with browning, right? Wrong. It will get soaked again by the mushrooms and the pan is dry. You will add another tablespoon of oil and now, finally, it won't get completely soaked and all mushrooms are covered with oil, which will help with browning and distributing flavor. This will be a very tasty pan of mushrooms, but also I just added 3 tablespoons of olive oil, which is around 400 calories worth of oil and about 10 times the amount of the mushrooms. Now, why is this the case and what can you do about it? See, as America's Test Kitchen showed this in a very interesting video, the tissue of mushrooms have tons of air pockets in which oil can collect. Meaning that instead of staying on the surface and help with browning, it stays inside the mushrooms if they are still raw. So to prevent this from happening, this will be a simple yet effective technique. I will again clean and slice 250 grams of brown mushrooms. This technique, by the way, will work of all kinds of mushrooms. Now, I will preheat the pan on medium high and add them in without any oil. Instead, I will saute the mushrooms with 50 to 100 grams of water. I will also add in a pinch of salt and a couple of cranks of black pepper. And now just saute the mushrooms for 45 minutes until they collapse and the water is evaporated. Don't worry if you added too much water, it's super hard to overcook mushrooms to the point they become mush. Now that the mushrooms are cooked and did collapse, the air pockets that previously soaked up oil cannot do that anymore and the oil will stay on the surface and help with browning. So instead of a couple of tablespoons, it's simply enough to add 2-3 to three seconds of spray of olive oil to cover all mushrooms and fry them for another 3-4 minutes until they are nicely brown. This technique just saved us a ton of calories with the same effect. So now you can turn this into an amazing low calorie creamy mushroom sauce. For that, I will start with adding 100 gram of water into a small glass and add 1 teaspoon of 4 gram of starch to make a slurry which helps thicken the sauce. Next is optional, I will also add 2 teaspoon or 8 gram of vegetable broth for some additional flavor. I know that some people don't like this, I actually like the umami flavor added to the sauce. Give this a stir and set it aside. Then I will peel 2 cloves of garlic and instead of adding heavy cream, I will use one laughing cow wedge. This is amazing for thickening sauces and adding sweetness. They have around 30 calories per piece, which I found amazing for portion control. I will also add in 150 grams of skinless chicken breast, already cut into small bite-sized pieces. I will add a pinch of salt and go back to the pan of mushrooms. So, now that the mushrooms are nice and brown, I will push them to the side of the pan and add in the chicken first. This is still on medium high, by the way. I will try to spread everything so as much chicken touches the pan surface for maximum browning. I will fry this now for 2 minutes and also add a couple of cranks of black pepper. As soon as one side is getting color, I will flip the chicken and add in the garlic with a garlic press. If you don't have one, then simply chop it into very fine pieces. Fry this for 30 seconds, be careful not to burn the garlic and then I will add in the sauce. Let this simmer now on medium heat for another 2 minutes and you will see that the sauce will start to get thicker and thicker. This is because of the starch. Now it's time to add in the laughing cow. I will take a spatula and try to press this down and break it apart. It will take around a minute, but eventually you will get this amazing looking creamy goodness that also smells absolutely fantastic. I personally also like to add a touch of jalapeno hot sauce just to add a little kick, but that's absolutely optional. Give everything a last stir and there you go. This is how you make a healthier creamy mushroom sauce that is amazing on top of rice or some steamed vegetables. The entire recipe comes in with 312 calories, 16 grams of carbs, 9 grams of fat and 42 grams of protein. I hope you will try this recipe, I think it tastes absolutely amazing. Click on this video to check out how you can make a proper tasting low calorie smashed burger and see you there.